There are two bets you need to make for Thursday Night Football this week. I'm Connor Allen from 44.com, here to bring you the best ways to responsibly wager on this week's Thursday Night Football game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and New England Patriots. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, though. This game is going to be ugly. I'm not even sure that most people are going to watch this because it's going to be so bad, but there are ways to bet on it that I think can make some money here. This total in this game is 29 and a half. If this holds, this will be the lowest total in a game since 1993. I mean, we're talking about 30 years. We have not seen a total this low. And I don't really blame odds makers in the market for getting it here because we're looking at the Steelers starting their backup quarterback in Mitch Trubisky. And even despite that, they're six-point favorites. The key is on the other side here. Bailey Zappi and the Patriots have looked terrible, and he's their backup quarterback as well. So let's jump into it in my favorite bets here. First one, Steelers minus six. Patriots have scored just 13 total points combined the last three games, despite playing against the Colts, the Giants, and the Chargers. The Giants and the Chargers are bottom 10 defenses, and the Colts are middle of the pack. Now they draw the Steelers defense, the Steelers top 10 most metrics, and get pressure really well. And so this Patriots offense here really just doesn't have a lot working for it. And so I think that we see them completely shut them down here specifically. And then the other side, The uh, Mitchell Trubisky, he's not very good, but I think that he gets the job done here. He's able to score around 17 points and slow. they're able to slow down the Patriots enough that they cover here and win by six points. The second bet that I have, Bailey Zappi to go under his passing yardage prop of 161. I know it's low, but he just had under this last week and it was in a great match against the Chargers. Now he gets the Steelers, who, as I already mentioned, are significantly better, allowing the second lowest completion rate in the league at 59%. And on top of that, it looks like Patriots wide receiver Demario Douglas is going to miss this week again, still in the concussion protocol. So that means that we're going to see Bailey Zappi throwing the ball to Tyquan Thornton, Devontae Parker, Juju Smith-Schuster. Again, ESPN Analytics has graded this as one of the worst receiving cores with each of those three players chalk, like clocking in and the bottom 10 out of the receivers in the league. I'm talking like bottom 10 out of 120 players and these three are the worst at getting open at producing after the catch and so much more. So... I expect them to struggle a lot passing the ball here and maybe even run the ball a little bit more because that's the Steelers' relative weakness if we look at pass defense versus run defense. But I'm just going to leave it at two bets this week. So much uncertainty with Najee Harris's availability and some other factors here that books aren't really posting props. So if you want to find the rest of my bets, though, when they do get released, go over to 44.com. You can find 10-plus official player prop bets and use promo code YouTube to get 25% off. See you guys next week.